All right, so sort of apparently tried to download Lightburn and I put my stuff in it. Um, so I, I just exported this Illustrator files and SVG. I'll disclaimer, I don't know what I'm doing. This is literally the first time I've ever worked with Lightburn. Um, so I did choose, um, if you if you look in the settings for this, um, I did turn off ignore white. So it's just the black and I just I was like, I don't know. I don't know how to deal with that. So whatever. Um, now this is huge. So this is set up for my 15 by 17 printer build volume. Um, but what I need to do is get some frame of reference for, like, how the heck wide this thing should be. So what I'm going to do um, in a somewhat arbitrary fashion is just be like, cool, let's um, measure the approximate width of this. And uh, that is apparently 77.5 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is double check the one that, okay, so it is the last row. All right, so what I need to do is just make a little 77 millimeter thing. Um, so this is 77.5. Don't really care about the height, like whatever. Um, which means that this needs to get, oopsie, uh, scaled mm, the heck down. Um, as I, you know, figure out how to actually do that. Um, <laughs> so let's, all right, let's just try which is back to inches, and I'm just going to say a height of 15. See if that gets us anywhere close to where things are on this build volume. And again, I'm going to be trying to measure this. Um, I'm hoping that I could just print all these pieces in one. Like, that would be pretty sweet. Um, so let's try 17 inches, and let's go to 20. So it seems like I will have to print this in sort of a... And that's fine. Um, so I do, I am trying to get this as close as possible. Um, I'm sure, sure there's a better way to do it. Uh, I just, you know, don't know what that is right now. So if you, if you know the things, tell me the things. Um, like I'm, there's, there's no, there's no way that the software doesn't have a better measure function, but I am just sort of trying to, did I, I just like not, we're back up to 21. Oh, I think I wanted 21.5. I was like, why did that feel so much smaller? All right, so just, again, very wonkily trying to scale this until this kind of hits uh, the same size as this. So we're going to three, four, <laughs> cool. And I feel like we're once again just back up to five. So I'm going to say whatever, 20, 20, 25 inches or 21.5 inches tall for this is. I gotta get it closer. I'm gonna go crazy if I don't. All right, we're gonna go 26, 27, 28. Sorry. All right, it's enough. <laughs> Who knows? All right, so this is just an SVG. So I think there's a thing somewhere for. Oh, look, a measuring thing. Great, that would have been helpful. Um, hang on, let me let me pull up my fun notes that I have. Uh, all right, so Loki gave up in Lightburn, so I made a new Illustrator file that's the correct size I need. I've added some labels to my junk. Um, and now I'm just going to go... Cool. Uh, I'm just going to go and start, like, laying this stuff out uh, in hopefully some flavor of like more away. So this is again the right size for my people don't even say build plate. Um it's the right size for my laser cutter. So I'm just gonna go ahead start jiggering some of this stuff a little bit closer to each other and again try to optimize uh, a little better. So come with me on this magical journey. <laughs> Or not, whatever. It's a it's a terrible boring journey. Oh. Really hoping that would fit in like one of these. Here we are. So I guess just dumped actually still fit.
All right, so it seems like I've more or less got these organized and they're all labeled and stuff. So I put all the numbers at the same spot. So I kind of know like once they're engraved, like where's the front. Um, so I'm going to go and maybe shrink some of the numbers and I'll save them as their own SVG. So hopefully I can just sort of pop that into Lightburn like on top as a different layer. Um, yeah, be cool. Also curse me, I should not label number one because that's the top of the head. I'd love to not have just like a random one on the head. All right, so that's done. So I think possibly what Lightburn, I think, is to have all of these simplified. So I think what I need to do is go to text or type or whatever and create outlines and that shall just be not text. And I think that once, I think or something. Um, these already have outlines, so I'm going to go ahead and just try to save this and see what happens. Um, Alright, so I'm going to do just a save as call starting layout. Uh, correct size. See? Okay. Cool. Let's do the letters really quick. Hopefully they'll just um... And let's come back into Lightburn, which I blatantly don't know how to use. So I did the same thing I did in, in Lightburn, just in Illustrator, because I understand how to use Illustrator uh, and the hotkeys. I'm just like running around like, oh boy, what are hotkeys? Um, all right, so we have correct size. Uh, this one seems to have the number. Oh, because I, I was clicked on the layer. And so. All right, so we just save this SVG. Delete this SVG. Delete. Oh. Oh. Nifty. Okay. So... Pulls in all of the... <laughs> Hang on. All right, so let's then... If I can separate those, I should be able to just my original text. All right, let's just go ahead and meet these. Uh, it's correct size two because I like. Oh wait, actually, I 
do have, hang on, got some extra random layers in there. So Excuse me. Delete those. Right, so we go correct size two G. Lovely. All right. Keep kicking things. <laughs> Not a fan. All right. So great. So now, in theory, because God knows I don't know what I'm doing. Um, all right, so when I pull these in now, perhaps I've sized this incorrectly. So, units. Oh, wait, what's CPI? Good enough. All right, so I got this into light burn. It's scaled, came in wrong. I don't know. I scaled it back up again. Figure the units out one day. Uh, <laughs> and I basically just put the numbers as uh, one layer and then the, these as the other. So I need different power settings for each so that these actually cut through. And these are just like, here's a little number for your aid. Um, and that's that's basically it. So then this dude just floating around. This is my number one because I don't want the, the one on his head. And, once I get the printer or the, the laser cutter, I will calibrate it to see what actually cuts through. And then I will cut through all of the things and it will be horrible. 